pleasure of announcing our employee of the year, which is named after quite an exceptional legacy and employee, Gerald Wright, who passed away in 2010 after struggling with a, a debilitating illness. And he really epitomized what Goodwill is all about. He loved people, his clients, even people who, after they completed their program, kept in touch with him and visited him frequently uh, because of his inspiration to them. So it's my honor to present the Gerald M. Wright Employee of the Award this year to Miriam Summers. I would like to acknowledge my guest, my husband, Rudy, my nephew, Brother Haki Ami, Gloria Porter, a pioneer in the field of social work through the state of California. Thank you for coming. To other co-workers who were nominated for this award, I believe each of them is equally worthy. If you were here, would you just raise your hand? Thank you. <laughs> Being the recipient of this award forces me to reflect upon the past as I move towards the future. A requirement of having fortitude, determination, and perseverance is all interwoven into the acceptance of this honor. This work is not achieved in silos, but alongside the works of an earthman they see a, a Kara Taylor, Sharon Thomas, or in the memory of a Gerald Wright. <laughs> to my Fort Meade team, in his absence, John Barrier, Warwick Denick, if you could just raise your hand or stand. And the supporting supervisors, Carol Johnson. Aisha Brown. And Linda Graves. Whatever the client's needs are, they make it happen. Guys, I appreciate you. In closing, I want to share a thought. Maya Angelou says it best and it is most reflective of the work done here at Goodwill. When you learn, teach. When you get, give. We are all the voices of our participants, and we are the givers of their attainment. And our work at Goodwill continues. Thank you, Lisa, and thank you, Goodwill, for trusting my professional qualities.